Hi guys, today we'll be drawing beautiful scenery, and so let's get started. To start, we'll be drawing the horizon point. It's going to be a little on the top, right over here. So instead of holding your pencil like this, hold it at the tip, like this. And so, just let out the, these jagged curves, like this. Try moving your wrist, not too much. Try moving your elbow, not too much your wrist. And we'll be moving, moving on to the next step. So now we're gonna get started on the road. The first thing is to define your vanishing point. The vanishing point is the middle of this line. So here, this is my vanishing point. It's about the middle of my line, and it's okay if you don't get it perfect. And here, from the vanishing point, you're going to decide if you want the road to be wide, you go ahead and take the corner over here like this. Otherwise, if you're thinking it's too wide, then subtract the same like that. And then you can go ahead and draw. I'm going to be taking away a little. I'm going to leave a little space over here. And so, let's get started. So over this whole drawing, I've skipped through a lot of things. I drew the house, not really using a ruler, I just did it like this. First drawing two straight lines, then a bottom line over here. Another one getting smaller and smaller because of the distance. Same over here, draw a line right that connects with this line. And draw the roof and this line over here. It's kind of like the head of the roof. And here is the door, and here are just some windows. You can put it if you want. And so we'll be getting started on painting, but before we do, I will tell you how to draw the tree. The tree, you just start with the trunk, and then you move outwards, just any position you want. Just let it flow. After you do this, just do it with your imagination, but make the branches curve outwards. Don't make it curve inwards. And so now we'll get started painting. For this painting, I'm gonna be using ultramarine blue, right over here. And that way, we're going to paint. Okay, to start, we're gonna be painting the sky. And to do this, we're gonna take a ton of water from your brush and without doing anything really. Just gonna take it like this and do it as fast as possible. We don't want the water to dry and we want a ton of it. And also, don't let the water go out of the, the horizon line. Otherwise, the water will leak over. And so that's a close call if you escape it. So as you can see, I've basically zoomed through almost the whole sky. And so what I did was I added water. After that, I added some ultramarine blue to the sky and then just brushed my brush along the sky. After I was done, I added some clouds. First, I used a tissue like this. And then after the watery places, the most watery places, I take away, the, I take away some of the paint the blue paint. After I do this, then I take the white paint over here and then do the clouds. After I'm done with it, I brush my I brush my brush against the cloud so that it looks kind of faint. And so, here, and so we're going to now do the road. As you can see, I've done some beautifications over here. I've added some jig jaggy lines over here and and over here also and we'll be starting with the road
Okay, so far we've done this. For the grass, I just ignore the trees, ignore anything that comes in the way, and Andy's humps. After you're done with that, do the right side. Try not to make them the exact same. That way it would end up like a duplicate and also earth isn't perfect. Nothing is really perfect. So try your best. And next we're going to be painting the girl. Okay, so now we're going to do the home. So grab your most finest tip in your brush or the smallest brush you have and then slowly go across it. For this, we're using this color right over here. And it's basically a burned brown. Just a normal brown. Grab this and take it with a fine tip like this and then we're going to be doing the home like that. Do it slowly, there's no rush. Add a little white in here, brown, and a little water to make it smooth. Maybe a little more. And we'll continue in time lapse. So over drying the home, what I did was I did a normal brown, mix it with white for the front side, and then it just a normal brown, a darker brown, darker shade of brown, and this side, this side. And after that, for the roof, what I did was I just put normal black, drop black, and then these lines jutting out. Don't make it go over the rooftop. And for the windows, I just do the draw two windows and i outline it with like dark dark brown and we'll get started with the next step <laughs> 